Budget mini PCs are abundant, but they need some more oomph when it comes to 3D games. In the Fallout modding community, many optimization tweaks are posted, including DXVK. This translates Direct 3D to Vulkan, allowing games to run in Linux. For today, we're going to try this in Windows to see if we get any more performance from our N100 mini PC. Welcome to Team Pandora. Subscribe. In this quick video guide, we'll show you how to get things running. But if you need more information, please check out this guide to DXVK in Reddit. If you want to check that out, we've left a link in the video description down below. First, we'll need to go into the DXVK GitHub. Go to the releases and download the latest version from the assets. Once we have this downloaded, we need to extract this file. With WinRAR, we're going to extract this. So right click, go down to WinRAR, and then extract to a new folder. So in here we'll have two folders, x32 and x64. And inside each, a selection of files will be used for DirectX 9, 10, or 11, depending on the game. Both DX9 and 10 games use a single file, but if you wanted to use this for a 32-bit DirectX 11 game, we'd need to use the last two files. If we check out PC Gaming Wiki, we can find out which ones to use for our particular game. This one's for Disco Elysium, and we're going to scroll down until we find our APIs. So according to this, we need the 64-bit DirectX 11 version. So go into the x64 folder, and select the bottom two files, right-click, and then copy. We'll now need to find our game files. In Steam we can easily do that by right-clicking on the game, Manage, and then Browse Local Files. This should open up your game folder in Windows Explorer. If it doesn't, minimize Steam to find it. In the root of our game folder, just right-click and paste. And now we're pretty much ready to go. If you need more detailed information per game, it may be in the PC Gaming Wiki, so keep your eyes peeled. Let's test some games. First game is Disco Elysium, and the graphics settings are in the description down below. In this game we can see that DXVK cannot provide us with any gains. It's more resource intensive and a slower FPS than using DX11. Again in Rocket League, it is more resource intensive, but we have less slowdown than in DX11. But when it comes to the DX9 games, here we see the most gains. Why don't you show me around the city? Fucking terrorists! What? Terrorists! It's been a big scare and you can't go across the bridges so good. You had a visa. I would stay. As Fallout New Vegas also uses DX9, here we see a few more frames per second. And in Skyrim too, albeit the gains are nowhere near as significant. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. Listen, you should go to Solitude and join up with the Imperial Legion. You could really use someone like you. We tried DXVK with both Dirt 3 Complete and Shadow Warrior, but unfortunately both of them crashed while starting the game. When it comes down to it, DXVK can help you get a smoother gaming experience, but it's best used for DX9 games. For faster FPS on these budget mini PCs, we recommend simply turning down resolution and settings. In most cases, these games were built to be played on a GeForce graphics board, and it's incredible to see that these even run on these very cheap mini PCs. As we finish off, here's a big thank you to all of those on our Patreon. Here at Team Pandori, we make video reviews, guides, and help fix them cheap arcade boxes, as well as the A500 Mini. If you want to help support our work, please jump on, or a simple like and subscribe would do us a solid. Anyway, it's me, Chicken of Team Pandori, and I'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ra!